Hello everyone, it is Pax here again with another tutorial, and this is going to be a really quick one on how to map your Terraria world. So pretty much someone made a program which is like Cartograph, but for Terraria, and it really works out well. So you can find this link in the description below, and download it for yourself. So this is what the uh, application looks like, and you can see the world will look like this, but it'll be better on yours. So go ahead and click this link here and go over to downloads and get the latest version and agree to this and then save it to wherever you want to save it to, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I apparently downloaded it earlier and forgot to delete it. Oh well, let's delete this so I can show you how to do it. Go, go away, go away. Okay, so make a new folder and just call it whatever you want. Okay, Terraria map, doesn't really matter. And open the world viewer file, and just move it on over. And then you can delete this, it doesn't matter anymore. And then open this, and run world view the application. So now you have to say where your, uh, where your world is located, which I didn't know earlier, but it's actually just documents, my games, Terraria, Worlds, and then it'll have World 1, World 2, and World 3, and you will just have to find out which world is the one you're looking for, and you can go to World Information, and find the name right there, and this one's Multiplayer 1, and, and you can see all the other statistics and weird stuff about your world, and then you need a place to save your actual map, so I'll just save it into the original Terraria map file, because it really does not matter and then create. And it takes a lot of energy from your computer, and sometimes it'll just be like not responding. You're just gonna have to like wait a second and be patient and it'll actually finish up really quick. Well, I mean fairly quick. And it is done. So now that you have this all loaded, Go to Terraria map, or wherever you saved your world um, PNG file to, click on that, and you get your map of the or your map of the world. So you can see my house there, and all the caves we've gone exploring to, and all the just caves that were randomly generated. And here's the hell world way at the bottom, and like the rarer underground jungle biomes, and you can see the floating islands easier this way, in case you want to build a house up there or something, and you can see the dungeon, so it just makes the game a lot easier to uh, find certain things if you want to, and if you don't, then it's your choice, if you want to just actually play the game, then go ahead and just play the game and try to find everything on your own. Anyway, this is Paxton signing off, and I will see you next time. Farewell!